Okay, this is another diary inside my silver pour journey. I'm using paraffin, which I got um, from work, and I'm using the molds that I got from Michaels, and I'm trying to capture this sugar skull. As you see, I got some detail inside the paraffin. I'm pressing it in the Delft clay, and this to capture that detail in this um, little mold that I created. Now, it didn't do too good, but I still wanted to see how the mold would end up. So let's see how it turned out. Now that I know that you have to make sure that it really captured the detail, I'll work on it. But like I said, this was my first time using paraffin um, for it, for this open pour. Wanted to make sure that it came out, dip it in water. That's how the mold looks afterwards with a little bit of liver of sulfur. It was a nice pour. This second one is a tiger pour. I pretty I like the tiger. One thing about it is I gotta make sure that the mold stays extremely hot so that the silver when it's poured inside of it, captured that detail. So I learned from that one that it didn't really capture as much, but I did love the way that it was nice and wavy. It was nice and wavy. And this second pour was a lot better. So I'm still working on that technique. Um, this one turned out pretty good. I think this is like a two ounce pour. I love the waves that were in the back of it. Now I'm trying to use the paraffin again. So what I wanted to do is capture this heart mold because you know, February 14th is coming up. So I want to try to do some Valentine pours. This right here is what I came up with. I'm using this as a guide. I'm gonna put it in the Delft clay and I'll keep you in touch to see how it turns out. All right guys, I'll see you next video.